Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte gets her father to raise the Christmas bonus of Office of the President Employees from 40,000 pesos to 50,000 pesos. Earlier, Deputy Executive Secretary Rizalina Hustol tells the audience they would be getting 40,000 pesos each. But not long after, Duterte walked to the podium to make another announcement. Sabi ni Inday, bakit naman kayo Manila National Capital? 40. Ang aking bigay doon sa Davao, 50. So, hindi tayo magpalugi sa Davao. Sabi ko kay Lina Apostol, ah, wala akong pakialam. Magnakaw ka, pira. dispalkuhin mo yung pera, basta gawain mong 50. So, it's gonna be 50. Okay na yan? O gawain natin 60? Duterte then wraps up the event by singing his favorite song, Ikaw, with the Philippine Madrigal Singers. The Supreme Court Unbank on Tuesday announces to the Judicial and Bar Council its official choices for the next justice. This is for the vacancy that will open up when Associate Justice Noel Tiham retires in January 2019. On top of the list are Court Administrator and Spokesperson Maidas Marquez, Court of Appeals Justices Ramon Bato Jr., Ramon Garcia, and Manuel Barrios. There are 16 other applicants for the post. Six of the 20 applicants will be interviewed by the JBC on Wednesday, Garcia, Bato, fellow CA Justices Eduardo Peralta and Ricardo Rosario, and anti-graph court sa Digan Bayan Presiding Justice Amparo Cabotahe Tang and Justice Efren de la Cruz. Tang is handling the Juan Ponce and Rile pork barrel scam plunder case, while de la Cruz is handling the Bong Revilla plunder case set to be decided on Friday. By 2022, 13 justices out of the 15 on the bench would have been appointed by the President. The House of Representatives approves the bill changing the name of Clark International Airport to Diosdado Macapagal International Airport after the late President and father of Speaker Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. A total of 199 legislators voted yes. No one voted no or abstained. Macapagal is the ninth President of the Philippines, serving from 1961 to 1965. The Clark International Airport Corporation was first renamed to the Diosdado Macapagal International Airport in 2001 when Arroyo was president. In 2011, during the term of then-President Noynoy Aquino, the CIAC changed the airport's name back to Clark International Airport. U.S. President Donald Trump wants his ex-lawyer Michael Cohen jailed. This comes after Cohen admitted lying to Congress about pursuing a real estate deal with Russia on Trump's behalf during the 2016 election campaign. Trump accuses Cohen of fabricating stories about his Russia dealings to minimize his sentence on multiple counts of tax evasion, financial fraud, and campaign finance violations he admitted before a federal court in New York. In a series of tweets, Trump says, quote, He lied for this outcome and should, in my opinion, serve a full and complete sentence. Cohen also earlier admitted to lying in testimony about contacts with powerful Moscow figures over building a Trump Tower in Moscow. A new trailer for Captain Marvel is released. In the new trailer, more is revealed about Carol Danvers' life, played by Brie Larson. Together with Nick Fury, played by Samuel L. Jackson, Carol tries to recall her life on Earth and how she got the powers that make her superhero. Jude Law and Crazy Rich Asians actress Gemma Chan also stars in the film directed by Anna Bowden and Ryan Fleck. Would you like to know what you really are? Captain Marvel will be released in the U.S. on March 6, 2019.